In another video, we looked at using the power rule with positive exponents, what they're raised to. What happens if we have negative exponents? Well, there's a couple ways to do this. You could first make everything inside a positive exponent, but you'll probably end up doing more work than you need. So remember, our power rule says we're going to multiply these two numbers together. So what is negative 3 times negative 3? Well, it's 9, so this is just going to be y to the ninth. Now, if you do the other route, you would first take and make this y over 1 over y cubed. The whole thing is the minus 3, but then you'd have to do a 1 over this whole thing. And as you notice, it just, it just becomes tiresome, and it's like, oh my goodness, now what do I do? So I don't recommend, in this case, that you do the way that we use with positive exponents. Now, let's do another example. On this one, I've got more quantities, right? So let's see, we've got y to the what? Well, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14, and x times negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Now the same rule holds. All of your exponents have to be positive in your final answer. So in order to make that negative 14 positive, we need to move it or place it on the bottom so that we get x to the fourth divided by y to the fourteenth. And this is your final answer.